Hello everybody, this is Technoli and today we got some real exciting news. We are installing Sequoia Mac OS on the new series Intel motherboards. Yes, I got it to work. It is not easy, but uh, now that I know what we have to do to get this thing to work, it's not that bad. This is an ASRock board. It's the uh, Z890 series. Now I only bought the Intel Ultra 265K. We'll get into the 285K on another video. But I just wanted to make sure this was even going to work. Because uh, as far as I know, nobody on the web has gotten this to work yet. And uh, it was... It was a bit challenging. It's not just like, you know, uh, the 14 Gen series, the Z790 or the Z690. It is definitely different because this is a new architecture. You know, this uh, CPU, it's a whole new chip. It's a whole new design, different motherboard. Everything about it uh, is new. So... I guess, you know, it's a challenge because it, it's not the same as previous versions, you know, based off of like 10th gen and all of that to where we could pretty much just use a 10th gen uh, EFI, basically, and get things to work. So, there we go. Uh, let's get into this. I'm going to run a benchmark on it. Uh, just gonna be a short video today guys. Just wanted to show you that we can get it working and uh, Then we're going to get into things like that Thunderbolt in the next videos. Okay, let's get into it All right guys, so here we are we are in Sequoia and if you go over here to about this Mac You're gonna see where it says CPU name is unknown uh, that's because Mac OS has never been installed on an Arrow Lake CPU. Um, so it's not going to know what it is, but we can put in some text to tell it what it is. It won't change anything. It's just for aesthetics, just for looking at it. Um, I've got an RX 6600 gig in here. Graphics card. Um, to get this thing to load is, I mean, don't even bother trying the normal way. There is a, there's a workaround, a little bit of uh, editing that you have to do, a little patch to get it to even boot past uh, a, a very short area in the boot process. So... Um, in about a week, I'll be doing a video on how to get around that so you can get booted in to macOS, you know, all the way booted into macOS, okay? So, um, we do have, we do have, uh, Geekbench right here. I'm going to run that and we'll just see what this is. Now, remember, this is a like an i7 processor right here it shows it it's an ultra 7 265 and 3.87 gigahertz so we'll click on this get started we'll come back when it is uh done and we'll look at the numbers hopefully i think we'll be able to get close to an m1 um which on an i i7 figuratively now they call it ultra 7 um is not a bad number so uh, but as far as these uh, Arrow Lake chips go Arrow Lake motherboards and these ultra chips no one even in the Windows side is extremely impressed with it okay um, they're not like oh my god this is the best thing ever and so fast and it's just you know a, a they had problems with 13 and 14 gen Intel CPUs. And so this is a remake. This is a whole new architecture. Um, so getting this thing to work on Mac OS 
is a little tricky, but here we go. It's working. And it seems very steady uh, and stable. I haven't had any, you know, like just crashes or anything like that. But um, if you're looking for incredible numbers, you're not going to see, I don't think we're going to see anything that's uh, earth shattering from what the Intel side or the Windows side is talking about, about these chips. So, um, but the exciting part about this is, is that here we go, we're in Sequoia now and we're in a new architecture, a new Intel chip and we're still able to run Mac OS. So it's fun. I think it's, you know, it's great fun to play with these. We can still get PC hardware with Mac OS running on it, which is really cool. So, you know, I just think the Hackintosh thing is fun. Uh, a lot of you guys out there think it's fun. And uh, if you've got an old computer out there, why not run Mac OS on it? Um, buying new stuff, yep, we can still do it. And that's the main thing we're doing here is just showing people that we can run Mac OS on the new Intel architecture, which is really cool. So um, let's get into this benchmark here. Okay, so we've got basically 2000 on the single core and 10,600 on the multi. So let's, let's just look at a real Mac and see how that compares. A single score, 2000. Well, it's not that great, is it? Um, somewhere between right here an M1, so I was right, uh, an M1 and a 2020 i7 iMac are uh, both eight core machines and then the 10,600 multi-score now that's a little better 10,006 here we get a Xeon MacBook Pro or Mac Pro excuse me a Mac Pro um, 10,006 so you know we're above an M1. Here's an M1 right here. So we're two steps above an M1, getting closer to the M3, which is kind of cool. Now, remember, this is just an i7. This is not the i9. So the Ultra 9, the Ultra 7. So um, when we do do the Ultra 9 285, I'm hoping we can get up in here or higher and get closer to the uh, M3 chips. So that will be cool. But the main thing is here, I wanted to show you guys uh, that we can do it. And we'll get into it much deeper, like how to install it on here, because this is different than um, our normal stuff uh, installing. And at this point, I cannot just sell you an EFI until I do much more testing on other motherboards, you know, Gigabyte, uh, Asus, um, you know, just other motherboards that are this uh, Z890 chipset. So, okay, so here is the board here that we've got this uh, installed on. Alrighty, here we go. So, good looking board really good looking board um specification wise just run through this real quick it's of course the ddr5 it does have two thunderbolts now we're going to test that next we're going to see if that works if that works then this is a really inexpensive thunderbolt system for uh, music uh, studios and stuff like that um, and let's see the land controller is a real tech 2.5 gigahertz. Um, like I said, we've got room for three NVMEs. Of course, you can hook up your SATA drives too. And um, plenty of USBs. So um, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll try to keep this video a little short. So um, 
we don't get into this too deep. Just want to show you that we can install macOS on the new Intel systems. All right, we'll see you on the next video.